and you're really precautious right now. Yes, and you really have to be wise and careful of choosing the right one or the the one that you choose for your future because a woman should be respected and loved and understand. What's the benefit of dating a 30 plus Pinay in your opinion? Being a single mom, what's the disadvantage in finding a partner? Ambush question. At what age does a Pinay lose interest in sex, Novi? Maybe in 30s. <laughs> if your partner can't satisfy you, what will you do? I will satisfy myself. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Asmi and welcome to Roger and Asmi Vlogs. And today we have our special guest. I think you know her already, guys. But before anything else, the guys salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. Uh, most of our OG subscribers knows this woman in front of me. <laughs> but can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi guys, good morning. It's holiday here in Philippines. So happy holiday. Happy holiday is me. Happy holiday. Yeah. So no, no work. No school, no classes for today. And I'm here at my store. So, sorry guys if it's quite busy today. Uh, I mean, noisy because I'm along the road. Yeah. So, I will show you later. So, my name is Novelin Arita. I'm Swiss best friend since college. So, I'm 30 years old. I'm a single uh, mom of one. Um, I have a son. He's eight years old right now. So what else? So I'm, um, of course, people will ask, or your subscriber will ask if I'm single. So I am literally single. Are you ready and to then, single? Uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> 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 if, 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 yeah, if my skittles can still, you know, if I still have time to have, why not, diba? So I'm just busy focusing on my small business here. Uh, in my hometown so that's why i really don't have time chatting or getting to know people because it's unfair to them you know if they they invested time and effort on me and then i cannot reply back so i cannot respond because i'm busy selling my fruits and vegetables that's how i do so that's it Aside from taking care of your store, can you tell a little bit of background about yourself, Nobby? I graduated college. I took hospitality management, but I used my degree or find a job because... But, but my job or what I am doing right now is still related in my previous or what I took. In. So we're seven, but most of... Uh, all of us are great in college, so I'm not that rich, not just in the middle class. And then I am very contented being here in my place, just doing simple things. I'm not material girl, a social letter girl, so I am happy here being here. And then I love to sing. Char. I'm a singeress. <laughs> do you know? Do, do you know singeress? <laughs> a dancerist. A dancerist. I'm a singeress. Yeah, that's the term we use. You use to call. So I love to sing. I'm. I'm. I'm not saying that I am good. I am a good singer, but I love music so much. That's the thing that relieve my everything. Release my. Sadness, pain. I think music heals me. And then, what else? My hobbies. I am a homebody girl, woman. I love to stay at home rather than having gala or hang hanging out or having party. I think that's priority now because I am not in my twenties. I'm thirty. I tend to focus more on living the life or being an adult. <laughs> Just doing um stuff that make you uh, serious stuff not playing around and that's it i think that's it 
And okay, then so I'm busy doing business and I'm busy taking care of my son. That's it. Thank you so much for telling the whole story about you, Nobby. <laughs> um, I want to know. And then I'm, I'm single for seven years already. <laughs> seven years. So I, I, I want uh, to know, do you have any interest in dating a foreigner, Nobby? Oh my God, that's a tough question. <laughs> do I have interest right now? I will not say no, as what I have said to your previous uh, blogs or when you invited me last year. So I'm not closing any doors. It's just that I don't want to be unfair to someone that I talk to. It's it's quite unfair, you know. Right now, I am really uh, focusing on myself. The peace of mind that I have is really the happiest. Just being myself, my son, my family. But who knows? If they want to uh, meet me or greet me or meet, meet and greet me, why not? Want to see me in person and let's we talk about something? Why not? Because okay, I don't want to. I don't want to invest someone that I haven't met. We are in the modern world, this me, and then everything now can be. It's not real. Even though if I say I love you, I like you, we really we really can tell if it's true or it's fake if it's real. So, but when you meet the person personally or in person, that's the only thing that you can. Oh, he's a good man. He's a kind. He's, he's general or something. He's a gentleman. So, first impression so, is really valid. You you prefer yeah. a guy that you really. But see I'm not saying that I'm not interested to any men right now. Yes, physically. Yeah, I'm not saying that I'm not interested. It's just that I'm busy and then. We are in dig- uh, uh, virtual digital world, so I clearly can say that if it's true, his intention. So it's nice if we meet, meet and see each in person. So you prefer a guy that you can meet in person, you can touch physically, you can know his intention, and you know his background because you've already experienced heartbreak before. So, of course, right? You yes. be, and you're really precautious right now. Yes, and you really have to be wise and careful of choosing the right one or the the one that you choose for your future because you know it's hard. It's 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 not easy when you invest okay. in trust in everything yourself. True. It makes and you. It it makes me. It makes you crazy, paranoid. That's, that's and I don't want to. I don't want to experience that one. Yes. <laughs> so what do you yeah. think about Filipino women pleasing their foreigner partner, even though they are physically and mentally abused by their partner? Like, what do you think about those women? Those women are bobo. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Yes. You know, a, a woman should be respected and loved and understand. As a woman, so why, why, why you should... Um, stay in that relationship even though if you're no longer happy what for what's what's the sense just for financial stability it doesn't make sense right what for but the financial the money but money can buy anything your happiness your peace of mind your um mental health they can't buy that one so what for stay out of it for me, that's fear of being abused or being physically abused. Not just physically, but mentally abused. You're not being respected, so stay out of it. Never stay in a relationship that it, you feel like there's no future. You feel like it's not getting, it's getting worse every day. You fight every day. It's no longer healthy. Especially when you have a child, it will only, you will not just you will get traumatized, but also your children. So you better... Very Be good. happy. What's okay. the benefit of dating a 30 plus Pinay in your opinion? In my own perspective right now, the, the new generation right now is really different when we have our generation is me, right? Yes. Yeah, it's really easy for them to go with the flow, be happy, live life to the fullest, like something like that. They feel like not doing anything, that a life lesson that they will bring to their life. So for me, the, the, the advantage of having 30-year-old like me is they are tend to focus more on things, important things. 
they're not having fun, they're serious, they are real, they are tend to focus more on raising the family well. Unlike when you have sure. 20s, they're just like, give me money to have, you know, my, buy milk tea, uh, buy me something like this, uh, go around, hang around, around this area. No, when you're in your 30s, you tend to, oh, it's, oh, when you buy clothes, oh, it's kind of expensive. And then, you know, when you buy food or something, uh, very necessary things, so you're more practical, more mature. You're in the adulting stage. Sorry, it's noisy. You are in the adulting stage. You are practical. You you spend money wisely. You think, is it worth it or not? Something like that. And then I think the most important thing is they are more, they don't care about other people. Like, I don't care other people's life. They care about their self, their mental health, their mental being, how happy and the peace of mind. That's that's what the thing. That's that's what I have right now that I have the peace of mind. Only my son make me stress, stresses me out. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's the okay. advantage. That's the ro- that's the role of being a parent, Novi. Yes. <laughs> what is or what are your dreams and ambition in life, Novi? What is your goal? My goal right now. So when we uh when I was younger, like my twenties, I really wanted to you know have this financially stable, have this car. I, uh, um, go this play something like that I want to buy this thing and then when I'm in my 30s and when I have my child already so my priorities is just being happy and contented and being with my family my priorities is I'm not thinking that I want to be rich right now I want to have lots of money right now I think we don't have time for that being rich being ha- uh, having a lot of money no the most important thing right now is just being happy who are you with just being i uh, know healthy i think that's much the most important thing that's my priorities that's my ambition i'm not looking for something too much right now i'm just all i w- wish and dream of is just being being with my family till the end of time being happy and just sustain just just i'm very simple I'm very i'm just very simple i'm not aiming for too much i know i'm not aiming that i will go to america i will go to europe or something like that no that's why that's why i choose just to be here just do some business because you know as a, a degree holder or i great i graduated at college so there are a lot of opportunities not just here local but also abroad right international but i choose yes. to be here it's because this is my comfort yes this is my comfort place this is my comfort zone so i'm happy being here just contented with what you have that's the most important thing but whatever uh, blessings that you have when you tend to you know aim for something too much it will only make you depressed pressured like you're being insecure in everything because i want to have this my ambition is too much even though especially right now Life right now, the generation right now is too difficult. We are in the crisis period. So don't think about it. Just don't think too much. Just be be happy be what you have right now. Yes. That's see the positive it. things. That's my ambition. I'm not asking for too much. Being simple is everything, Nobby. That's why we're best friends, right? Because <laughs> yes, we're both too. simple. Yes. Being a single mom, what's the disadvantage in finding a partner? Okay, being a single mom, it's really hard to find a partner. You know, as what I have said, we can never tell if that person is the, the, the intention, is it real or not. You cannot trust easily, especially you already have a child, you know. It's different. Disadvantage yeah, because you it's normal and it's the reality if you have a child already in a previous relationship that you acquire a lot you have a misunderstanding so that that's the disadvantage it's a choice it's not because i don't have any or actually there's a lot it's just that i choose it's my choice because in reality when you have your new partner and you already have a child you tend to acquire a lot 
not just your relationship, but also your your son relationship. I don't want to experience that one. That's why you have to be extra careful, be wise, and choose wisely in your partner, next partner, your your future partner. That your partner will accept you what whatever you have right now, who you are, including your son or your family, including your attitude, your personality. Are are the two of you gonna be click or not? Something like that. That's the I think that's the disadvantage. True. What do you think about the new generation nowadays? The new generation right now? I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot to say. I do, I don't know how to start. They are easy, happy, go lucky teenager millennials. Something like that. It's it's very different. Their mindset is different, like ours, right? Just hanging around and they live life to the fullest. That they didn't think that that they, what they do is not good for their he- health. Uh, they're target tagger here. Drink till morning, till you drop. something like that. Yeah, till you drop. You know, <laughs> and they, on their perspective or thoughts or their perspective about life, they're not positive. They're very negative, and then the new generation right now is they don't they don't solve their problems. Especially for them, it's already big. For us, it's just a small problem. We could go with an ambush question. Ambush question. At what age does a Pinay lose interest in sex, Novi? Maybe in 30s. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are you joking? <laughs> because I, I already lose interest of that. <laughs> uh, tick, tick, <laughs> I don't know. In general, what do um, you think? What age does a Pinay lose in interest general, in sex? I think it's yes. in the 40s. I think it's in 40s because they tend to focus more on things, raising children, living life, how to get an income. They're busy of how their chores, they're busy about their career. So maybe they think they, they already lost the interest of, you know, pleasure, pleasure time. <laughs> I think it depends because okay. I can feel a lot because I, I can see a lot in tools that having an affair of 40 plus, 50. So. Sign up all by asking. I think it depends. It depends on the situations. Or it, it depends on the women. Is, it depends on the women. Another ambush question. If your partner can't satisfy you, what will you do? I will satisfy myself. <laughs> Easy, Pete. In what way? <laughs> In what way? <laughs> well, your question is hot. I, I want to take off my suit. So I don't know how to answer that one. You choke. Yeah, you, you you well you can actually pleasure yourself. Of course. You can just continue pleasure pleasuring yourself. yourself. You have your hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. good answer, Nobby. <laughs> Thank you so much for always being a good sports and everything. And Nobby's always my on the call friend because if I do something, I always call her. Thank you so much for having Thank me here. So it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for watching till the end, guys. And I hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate, just love. Bye-bye.